Hey everybody, this is Joe Numbers, and I wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to set up Intel Quick Sync 4 to work on OBS and OBS Studio. This is really easy, really fast. Um, basically, I run with three monitors on a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980 Ti, and I also have my onboard video on my i7-2600K processor, which supports Intel Quick Sync. It is an Intel... Um, graphics 3000, I think it is, Intel HD Graphics 3000. If you have an i7-2600K, anything like a, an i7, i5, i7, i3s, they usually support it without a problem. You, you will have to Google search your processor to make sure that it actually supports Intel Quick Sync. But here is how it works, and here is how you get it set up. This is easy. Now, I've already got mine set up right here. This is my Intel Quick Sync, but basically, to get Intel Quick Sync to work on OBS or OBS Studio, you have to have a monitor on that is active on your Intel graphics card. But you don't necessarily have to have a monitor connected directly to the video port in the back of your computer to get it to work. Here's how you can get it to work. You go to detect. I'm sorry, you go to your uh, screen resolution display, all this set up here, and you just hit detect. Out of nowhere. It'll detect another display when there's nothing even there. It says another display not detected, uh, Intel HD graphics, and you would tell it to connect, uh, connect to it anyway on VGA. It'll pop up like this. Once it's connected, you hit apply. It'll pop up and it'll say, okay, the, here's what you can do with this monitor that's on the outside that's not even connected. You want to extend your desktop to this display, or you can duplicate it, uh, you know, never mind. Never mind the duplication. Never mind. Never mind. Extend the desktop to this display, and then you would hit apply. Once you hit apply, it would pop up here. Uh, you would have your own monitor. It would be, you know, somewhere in the section of monitors here. You would just drag it. I usually just put mine on top over here because it's just kind of there. It's extra, and I don't really need it. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and cancel out here. But once you have done that, once you have done that, go to your OBS Studio. Make sure that you, you got to restart OBS Studio for it to actually uh, show up. But once you do that, you go to your encoders. Intel Quick Sync will pop up like this. Quick Sync H264. That's it. It's that simple. If you guys want to broadcast with uh, Intel Quick Sync, it's there now to work. If you want to do any local recording with it, it's there. It's now able to work. It's really that simple, that easy to set up. and then. That's it. You're done. You want to do any local recording with it? I'd say uh, Intel Quick Sync at about 30,000 bit rate to do 1080p at 60 frames per second. It looks fantastic. If you do any streaming with it, I am going to tell you that Intel Quick Sync and NVIDIA's encoder do not and will not ever, as far as I know, look anywhere as good quality as X264. X264 uses your processor and it will always be superior in quality no matter what. Intel Quick Sync and in the NVIDIA encoder are better for local recording more than anything because you can kick up the bit rates really high and get a really good quality out of these. But if you're going to use it for streaming, the quality is not going to look as good as X264, just to let you know off the bat, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later.